Hello, friends! Are you ready to play and learn with Peppa and friends? Yeah! George has come along to play. And here's playful Peppa! Hurrah! Mommy Pig has arrived too! Who's next? Yes, Daddy Pig! Here's a big dough cutter! And another one! This one's smaller, isn't it? And here's our last one! Can you help me match the right cutters? Yay! No, not this one! Here? This cutter's too big, isn't it? Nope! Let's try the last one! Yes, it fits! Good job! Yay! Where does Peppa go? Hmm. No, Peppa's too small for this cutter. Not this one either. There's only one more left to try. You did it! Now yeah. Peppa's in place. Hmm, where does Mummy Pig fit? Hmm? No match here. This is it! Yeah! Yay. Okay, Daddy Pig, your turn. We know where you need to go, don't we, friends? Can you help me pick the color dough that matched the cutters? George is blue. We need to roll the blue dough into a circle. Then press it flat and lay it on the table. Now we can roll, roll, roll the dough. <laughs> it's ready to press the cutter in. Press it down hard. Pull off the square dough. Here we go. Now we can press down George into the cutter. Oh, I can't wait to see it. How about you? Yay! Are you ready? Wow! Hello, George. Are you ready to play? Let's make your family first, though. What color dough do we need for Peppa? Pink! Hurrah! I knew you'd be good at this game. What do we need to roll out the dough? Yes, a rolling pin to roll out for Peppa's shape. The cutter first to make the shape. Then a press and a jiggle. Peppa, are you ready to be Play-Doh Peppa? <laughs> Here she comes! Peppa looks pretty in pink, doesn't she? Wow! Which color is next? Orange, that's right! Orange is a color, and what else is it? Do you know? A fruit, yes! Yummy scrummy! We need to roll it bigger this time, don't we? Okay, mummy pig, let's press the cutter in to get your shape. We have to press this one real hard. She's done. Let's put away the extra dough. And it's time for Mummy Pig to jump on in. Push, press, push. Come on, Mummy Pig. Join Peppa and George. Mummy Pig looks happy in Play-Doh, doesn't she? Yay! Which of Peppa's family is missing? Who will we make next? Daddy Pig, that's right! What color is he? Turquoise, or we can say bluish green too. Phew, we're gonna need a lot of rolling for Daddy Pig, aren't we? Roll up, down, round, and around. <laughs> Let's check if we rolled it big enough. Hurrah, he fits! Daddy Pig is missing his family, so let's get him made. Push, press, push. Daddy's in a rush. <laughs> let's take off the cutters and check him out. Wow, now he can join his family. Thanks, friends. Daddy Pig is happy now. Thanks for matching them right. Bye, friends! Let's roll down the dough first. 
They're sliding so fast, aren't they? And who do we have here? Wow! It's a colorful number block, isn't it? Can you help me make number block number seven? Yeah! Hmm, which color do we need first to match? Red, hurrah! But this Play-Doh is in a circle, and number block is made of cubes, which look like boxes, don't they? We can't use the rolling pin. What will we use to make a cube shape? Aha! This shape tool will help to press in the edges to make the right shape. Hurrah! We did it! It's a cube! Our red cube is ready. All six sides are the same. Orange is next. A cube is a solid shape that we call 3D. And we can roll, slide, or put them on top of each other. So let's change this rolling ball of dough into an orange cube. Because it's now a cube, we can put it on top of the red cube. Yellow is our next color. Let's go! We can press it in to make the edges all the same. Let's try together. Push in each side and make it smooth. Cool! We did it! Yay! Now we can carefully stack it on top of orange and red. Turquoise is the color we need now. Can you think of other things that are shaped like a cube? A dice that we roll in a game as a cube. Building blocks like number block are cubes too. Turquoise is ready to stack on top. We'd better be careful though, it's getting high. And we don't want it to tumble, do we? Blue is the color next. Here it rolls. It won't roll soon though, because when we change the shape to a cube, it will have flat sides, won't it? Onto the stack it goes, hurrah! Now let's shape dark blue. Press in the sides nice and flat. Use the shape tool to smooth the dough. Pat, pat, pat the six sides down. Oh, I'm scared in my tumble. Wish me luck. Wow. It's gonna be a tall tower of cubes. Purple is our last cube to shape. Press and mold, smooth and flat. Okay, it's shaped and ready to put on top as the last piece. Oh no, it's too high. Do you think it will stay on top or tumble down? Hurrah, it's on. Yikes, it's a tumbling tower. Oh dear. How are we gonna fix it to look like number block? Look, we've got some sticks to hold them together. Let's try it out. Can you shout out the colors with me? Yes. Red is the first one. Now shout out the colors as quick as you can. Orange, yellow, turquoise, blue, dark blue. Purple is the last one, but we need to match with number block's face, don't we? Two eyes and a mouth. Color hair too. <laughs> wow, so cool. This time we'll make sure he doesn't fall by pushing a stick in to hold him up. There we go. He looks like a <laughs> lollipop, doesn't he? <laughs> Into the block body he goes. Hurrah! Lastly, we need to put his number on top. Seven, because he has seven cubes. Hurrah! Thank you, friends, for helping today. I had lots of fun. Let's say goodbye to number block seven. We'll see him again soon. Bye! Hello, everyone. Today we have a special friend with us. Here she is. Say hello to Bluey. Hey. We're going to have so much fun together. We'll be learning all about colors. What are we waiting for? Let's start with this ball of Play-Doh. This is the color blue. It's like Bluey's name. Let's make it nice and flat. We can use a rolling pin for this. We'll roll it back and forward. It's just like making a cake or a pizza. It's almost ready. That was hard work. We'll use this part first. I need to push it into the Play-Doh. Then it's time for Bluey. She goes inside the bigger piece. Then I'll give her a little press. 
I think that's enough. Let's see if it worked. Ready, friends? Wow! Look at that! Let's use dark blue next. Do you know what this color is? That's right, it's yellow. We'll use white Play-Doh for Bluey's eyes. And this color is black. Whoa, we've got a toy. That was so much fun. It's Bluey, everyone. She looks so happy. Let's put her over here. Bluey needs some friends. Yes. So let's make her some. What color is this? You got it. It's orange. We'll need to use the rolling pin. Let's flatten it out. Can you think of anything that's orange? Yes, the fruit. Well done. Let's use the cutter. I'll push it into the Play-Doh. Then we can take the second shape. I'll push it all the way in. Then I'll carefully remove it. I don't want to ruin the Play-Doh. Wow, it looks great. We need to peel off the extra Play-Doh. Let's add more color. This is brown. The next color is beige. That's a funny word to say. Now, we'll add white Play-Doh. We'll need black for the eyes and ears. We did it! And we've got another toy. Say hello to Bingo, everyone. Bingo is Bluey's sister. We'll go for this cutter next. Shout out the name of this color. It's the same color as the big ball of Play-Doh. It's red. Well done. It's time to roll it out. I need to make a large oval shape. This is tough. But we did it! Yay! We'll use the cutter now. It needs to push into the red Play-Doh. Let's think of red things. An apple. Yes. Oh, a fire truck. That's good. We can remove the cutters now. Can you remember what this color is? It's yellow. Great job, friends. Next, we need white Play-Doh. We need to color the eyes and nose. So, we'll use black for this. We made another of Bluey's friend. And we have a new toy. Say hello to Rusty. Look at his red fur. We've got three new friends. We should make some more. We'll use this cutter next. This is gray Play-Doh. We'll use the rolling pin to make it flat. Just like this. It won't take long. That's perfect. Thanks, friends. I couldn't do it without your help. Let's push the cookie cutter into it. This is exciting. I wonder who it will be. Shall we find out? Let's take the cookie cutters out. We'll get rid of the rest of the Play-Doh. This is a new color. It's called dark gray. Now we can use the beige for the ears. Let's add white Play-Doh next. Now we'll use black for the eyes. Wow, did you see that? It's a cute little friend. It's Muffin. Let's sit Muffin next to Bluey. We've got two more cutters left. We'll use this one next. I think I know who this is. This is called light pink. It's a pretty color. Let's use the rolling pin. It's gotta be really thin. Just a little more. Okay, I think it's ready. Now we can use the cutter. I'll give it a good press. We can use the second cutter now. It's pink, just like the Play-Doh. I think we can take a look. Wow, 
It looks great, but we still need to add more Play-Doh. This is bright pink. What is this color called? You've got it, white. The last color is black. It turned into a toy. Look at all the pink fur. Let's put her with the rest of our friends. This is Coco. She can go over here. This is the last cutter. It's a funny shape, isn't it? This color is called black. We'll use the roller now. It's so sticky. It has to be long so the cutter can fit. We'll start with the biggest cutter. Then we can use the dog cutter. It goes right here. One big push. There. Let's see how it looks. Wow. Can you see the dog? We'll need to brighten it up. First, we'll use orange. Can you remember this color's name? It's beige. What's this color? That's it. Green. Then we'll use white. There's one more color. It's black. Here's the last toy. Can you see its yellow hat? This is Snickers. He's a very tall dog. We found all our friends. There's so many of them. We met Bluey. Then there was Muffin. The pink dog is Coco. Bingo has orange fur. Say hello to Snickers. And Rusty is a red dog. Thanks for all your help, friends. I'll see you next time for more fun. Bye, everyone. Hi, friends. Will you join us in an undersea adventure? We're gonna make and meet different sea animals. Yeah! Soma's been out on his boat finding out things to share with us. But first, we've got to make our Play-Doh Pals. Are you ready to help? Let's choose a cutter fast and then find out which sea animal we'll make. Shark is our first sea animal. What color will we use? Pink, that's right. Let's roll out the dough and make it big and flat. Now we can push in the cutter and wiggle it a little. Then pull away the extra dough. Here comes its white tummy. Two eyes and a big toothy smile. Sharks can be found in every ocean around the world. Their teeth are like triangles and super sharp. And if they lose one, another tooth grows back. Whoa, that's shark -tastic. Hey, Rubble, you choose the next one. Okay, I want to know which sea animal is the green cutter. Do you know? It's a sea turtle, Rubble. We need green dough for the turtle, don't we? Here we roll. Press on the cutter to print out the shape. We need a big shell for on top of turtle's back and a big eye. Turtles have a large hard shell to protect them from big fish attacking them. The shell is smooth and is shaped to help them swim quickly away from danger. That's shelltastic! <laughs> Your turn to choose the next one, Marshall! Hurrah! I want to know what the star-shaped cutter makes. It's a starfish. What color dough do we need? Yellow, that's right. We can roll with our yellow rolling pin, can't we? Let's check if it fits. Hurrah, now we can press it down. Shiny like a star. <laughs> We'll decorate the five arms, then two eyes, and a happy smile. Now we can add on the spots. We've got a spotty starfish. <laughs> starfish move really slow, so they have to eat other sea animals that move slowly too, like oysters, mussels, and snails. Starfish are great at giving high fives as well. <laughs> Chase is on the case, and I think we should make the big orange cutter next. 
It's a fish. Swim over here, fish. Which color, Chase? Orange! We'll roll it out long and wide, because this is quite a big fish, isn't it? Press all around the cutter nice and hard. We should decorate it like Nemo, shouldn't we? A shiny big eye and some Nemo stripes, hurrah! Nemo is a clownfish, and clownfish talk to each other by making clicking and popping noises. They're called clownfish because they are bright like clowns in the circus. But they don't ride bicycles like circus clowns! <laughs> <laughs> what do you think the big red sea creature color is? It's a crab sky. Hmm, which color? Red, hurrah! But did you know that most crabs in the ocean are brown, green, or blue? Hmm. Let's try it for size. This one's a big crab, isn't it? Pull away the extra dough so that we can decorate it. Black strips for the claws and pincers. Two big eyes and a big mouth. Crabs walk sideways, as is the fastest way for them to move. If they lose a claw on rocks, then it will grow back. Crabs use their claws to pick up food, like we use our hands. Crabtastic, hooray! Our ocean is filling up, isn't it? I'd like to see what sea creature the blue one is. Do you know? It's an octopus with eight long legs. Blue is the color dough we need. And we need to roll it out really long and wide so that those long legs fit, don't we? I hope we rolled it big enough, shall we see? Yeah! Yes, hurrah! Octopus use their long legs to touch things and taste too. We'll decorate those eight legs first with pink. We need a lot of dough for this, don't we? Then two eyes, eyebrows, and a sweet smile. Don't forget the spots, too! Thanks, Rubble! Octopus eyes are on the front of their head, and they can see almost every direction without even moving their head. Those eyes are useful in deep, dark water, so that they can hunt for their dinner of fish, shrimp, and crabs. Aye, aye! Watch out for those legs, friends! <laughs> It's okay, our Play-Doh pals all play together. Can we do the big blue one next? What sea creature is it? It's a swordfish, Chase. We need dark blue for this fish, don't we? We'd better be quick before it swims away, because swordfish are one of the fastest fish in the ocean. Let's turn the dough around and push in the cutter. Get ready to press it down hard, here we go. Now we can decorate it with a white tummy below, on both sides of its fin. Two eyes and a long bill, which they use to hit their prey with. And a mouth to eat the food they bash. Swordfish grow very quickly, and mainly swim and live alone, not in groups. Young swordfish have scales, but when they are grown up, they lose their teeth and scales. I'm gonna keep looking after my teeth so that I can always eat crunchy bones. Look guys, we've only one sea creature left to make, but I don't know what it is. It's a seahorse, do you know what color it is? Purple, that's right, well done. Let's roll out the last one. This time we need it to be long, don't we? We need the seahorse standing upright because that's how they move along in the water. Let's peel it out and add its fins. Seahorses have bright colors, but can change their color to hide from danger. On go the eyes and it's done. Seahorses have long curled tails that they use to hold on to plants to hide. They have awesome eyesight and can look forwards and backwards at the same time. So they can look for food and keep watch for danger too. They're always on patrol, just like us. <laughs> Let's dive down for our underwater adventure with friends! Now we know lots about the ocean and the sea creatures that live there, don't we? 
That's right, Sky. That's why we need to keep the ocean clean and take care of our friends so that they stay safe. We can all patrol and protect it together, can't we, friends? We will, won't we, guys? Hello, everyone. Today we're playing with our Paw Patrol friends. Each tub has colorful Play-Doh in it. Where should we start? This one? Good choice. And the Play-Doh is dark blue. Let's roll it out. It's nice and flat. We have this special cutter. Let's press it into the Play-Doh. This is so exciting. We need to peel off the extra Play-Doh. Then remove the cutter. Let's see what it looks like. Wow, look at this, friends. We may chase. Do you know what his job is? Yes, he's a police dog. Let's open this pot next. What color do you think it is? That's right, it's pink. Now we'll roll it out like a pizza. Mmm, I like pizza. We'll press our pink cutter into the Play-Doh. Just like this. And carefully lift the cutter. It's Sky. Woof, woof. Let's put her next to Chase. We've got a lot more to open. Do you know what color this is? It's yellow, well done. It's so soft and squishy. We need to make it nice and flat. This is our next cutter. Who do you think it is? Let's find out. I need to peel it off the table. You were right, it's Rubble! Rubble goes next to the yellow pot. I think I know what color this is. Shout out nice and loud if you know. It's red! Well done, friends. Can you think of something that's red? You got it! Strawberries are red. Let's push the cutter into the Play-Doh. I know who this is. Shall we take a look? I knew it. It's Marshall. He drives a red fire truck. You're doing great, friends. The next color is purple. Let's squash it. <laughs> it feels funny. We have a purple cutter. I wonder who this will be. Let's see. It's Everest. Yeah! Everest is a husky. She climbs up high mountains. But today, she's having fun with her friends. Let's open another pot. This looks interesting. This color is called turquoise. Can you say turquoise? Well done. Hmm? We need a cutter. That's better. We'll press it into our Play-Doh. Let's find out who this will be. Shout out if you know. Yay, it's Rocky. Can you see his turquoise clothes? Yes. We'll put Rocky over here. This is the next pot. What color is inside? It's orange. Yeah! That felt good. We need to make one of the Paw Patrol crew. Do you know who this is? Mm -hmm. Shout out if you do. That's a good guess. Let's find out if you're right. You got it. It's Zuma. Zuma helps sea animals. He must be a good swimmer. This is the last pot. It's blue. Let's use the roller. The blue cutter goes on the blue play dough. We need to press it down. We can use the extra play dough later. Now we'll carefully remove the cutter. Look at this. It's Ryder. He's the leader of the Paw Patrol. We've got them all, yay! Look at all the colors. It's like a Paw Patrol rainbow. Hi friends, join me in a color game with Cookie Monster, hurrah!
Hi there, me want a cookie. All right, Cookie Monster, we'll make you a cookie with Play-Doh. Which color cookie did he show us that he wants? Yellow, that's right. Roll it out and splat. Hmm, which color do we need for the chocolate drops? Brown is the color of chocolate and cookies, isn't it? We need to pull off small balls of dough and flatten them onto the cookie. It's ready. Do you think Cookie Monster will like it? Here's your yellow cookie with brown chalky drops, Cookie Monster. Mmm, hurry up, I need cookies. Here you go. <laughs> Hurrah, he likes it. <laughs> Yummy in my tummy. I want another one, please. Which color dough do we need, friends? Shout out the right color dough that we need to make Cookie Monster his next cookie. Green, yes! That's the color cookie he wants! Squish it, squash it, squinch it! To make the cookie biscuit! Where's my chucky drops? We'll make them from the brown dough, won't we, kids? Do we need a lot of brown or a little? Little pieces, that's right! Let's stick them on! Is it ready? It's done, Cookie Monster! You're so hungry for cookies, aren't you? Open wide! Not my fingers, though, Cookie Monster. <laughs> we'll put these doughs down, because I think he'll want another in a different color next. Keep watching, friends. Good idea. I always want more cookies. I want this color next, please. This is the tub with the color we need. What color is it, friends? Red, you've got it. Splat, now it's the right shape. Tell me, friends, what color do we need for the chocolate bits that we stick on the cookie? Brown! Hurrah! Pull off pieces, roll them flat, and pop them on top. It's done! Are you ready, Cookie Monster? I'm always ready for cookies! This one looks like a ladybug cookie, doesn't it? I love ladybug cookies. Yummy. Wow, he's a fast eater, isn't he? They're just so scrummy. Can I have this color next? Okay, friends, look at the dough lid. What do we call this color? Orange, the same as the fruit, but this time the color. Urkel Durkle, make me a circle. <laughs> what do we do next? Can you remember? This is the tub we need. What color dough is inside? Hurrah, brown! Now we can crop the drops! <laughs> cookie Monster likes lots of chocolate in his cookies. Do you too? Wow, this one's jam-packed with chocolate, isn't it? Yum, yum, fill my thumb! Get ready to see which color he wants next! This tub matches. Check out the lid. And can you tell me what the color is called? Purple. That's the color cookie we're gonna make. Are you ready? Kaboom! And it's done! Not yet. We need brown for the toppings first. Roll them up and drop them on top. Now it's ready, Cookie Monster. Open up, here it comes. Last bit. Have you made it already? Yes. Tell me, friends, what color do we need? Which is the same as Cookie Monster. Have I got the right tub? What color is it? Let's open up to find out. Blue, that's right. That's what color Cookie Monster is, isn't it? Flatten the dough and shape it into a cookie circle. Give it a roll to smooth down the edges. Pit it and pat it till it takes on the right shape. Brown for the topping and we're almost done. Chunky chocolate chippings for everyone. Mmm, <laughs> delish. Now I'd like a cookie the same color as me. And it's ready. Hurrah. Bring it to show me. Mmm, super! Shove it in! I've gotta make sure he doesn't eat my fingers, too! <laughs> I won't! Your fingers aren't cookies! <laughs>
On our next game, we've got to match and find the right shaped cookies. Square is the cookie Cookie Monster wants. Count the chalky drops with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's your square cookie, Cookie Monster. This one matches the heart shape. Let's count the drops. One, two, three, four. Give me the heart shape cookie, please. What's our next shape to match? Circle. Here it is. How many chalky drops are on it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Open up for the circle cookie. What shape is next? Triangle. That's right. It has three sides, am I right? Yes, let's count the drops. One, two, three. It has the same amount of sides as the chalky drops, doesn't it? What's this shape called? Oval, and it looks like an egg, doesn't it? One, two. Are you ready for your cookie? Always. <laughs> What's our next shape? Rectangle, hurrah! Get ready to count. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Yum, six drops on the rectangle cookie. Oh, what's our last shape called? It's a rhombus and looks like a diamond, doesn't it? One. My last cookie only has one chalky drop. Hmm. Do you want it? Hmm, yes. He's eaten too many cookies today, so now we'll only give him healthy food. Is tomato healthy? Yes, he can eat the tomato. What's this? Pineapple. Can Cookie Monster have the pineapple? Yes, it's a healthy fruit. What about the burger? Is this healthy food? No, it's a junk food, isn't it? Burgers are bad for our body. What about the soda? Do you think soda is a healthy drink? No, it's full of sugar and bad for us, isn't it? You're not having that, Cookie Monster. Only good healthy food and drinks for you. Okay. Grapes, they're juicy and fruity and healthy too. These you can eat. Is lollipop a good healthy treat? No, it's candy and it's bad for our teeth and body. Cucumber, hmm, is this good for us? Oh yes, fruit and veggies make us grow big and strong. Potato chips, what do you think, friends? That's right, they're not good for us. Apple, they can be red, green, or yellow. Delicious and healthy too. Here you are, Cookie Monster. Pepper, do you think a pepper is healthy? Yes, it is! Perfect! Pucker up for the pepper! <laughs> banana! The fruit in a banana is super healthy. Just right for Cookie Monster. Ice cream! Tell me, friends, do you think ice cream is healthy? No, it has too much sugar, and that's unhealthy, isn't it? Sandwich! Good or bad? This sandwich is on white bread, which isn't good for our body. Carrot next. Can Cookie Monster eat the carrot? Yes, it's a veggie and gives lots of good things to our body. Pear is our last food. What do you think, kids? Yes, it's a healthy fruit, isn't it? What did we learn today? We practice our colors, numbers, shapes, and food. And that you like cookies. Bye, friends. See you soon. Bye, cookie friends. Hello, everyone. Do you want to play with us today and make fruits with Play-Doh? We'll even learn about colors. OK. It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Let's play. Hmm. Where should we start? Over here? Good idea. Do you know what this is? Right, it's a strawberry. Mmm, I like strawberries. They're so juicy. I know what to do. We can make our own strawberry. 
Hmm? But we'll need Play-Doh. Hmm, let's use these colors. Hmm? This will make the perfect strawberry. Do you know what this color is called? Yes, it's red. Well done. It's so soft and squishy. I'll need to flatten it out. Now I can use the strawberry shape. I'll start with this one. Yay! I'll press it into the red Play-Doh. This is so exciting. Next, I'll push this piece into the Play-Doh. This will help make our strawberry. Let's peel off the extra Play-Doh and remove the strawberry shape. Wow, it looks great! But we can make it even better. Shout out if you know what color this is. You got it! It's green! It's a round green ball. But that won't do. Ah, that's more like it. A green stem for our red strawberry. It can go right here. It looks amazing. Something's missing. It's the yellow seeds. We finished our red strawberry, friends. Do you like strawberries? Yes! I do too. I like strawberries too. Okay, now it's my turn. Let's make a... Oh, I have an idea. I'm going to use this yellow shape. Do you know what it's called? Shout out. That's it. It's a pineapple. That's a funny word to say. Pineapple. Now we need Play-Doh. This one looks good. Let's open it up. This is yellow. Can you say yellow? Yes! Wow, you did it! Now I'll roll it nice and flat. It's like a pancake. I'll use this cutter first. Let's push it into the Play-Doh. This will make a pineapple shape. Next, we need the second piece. Here it is. Let's press it into the Play-Doh. The pineapple will be so bright and colorful. I can't wait. But we'll need to take off the cutter. I'll be really gentle. Wow, look at all the lines. We did a great job making this. I'm so happy. I have an idea. Yeah! Let's remove the yellow leaves. Pineapple leaves are green. We'll need to change them. Everyone shout green really loud. It worked. The leaves changed color. We can put them on our pineapple. This is our second fruit. Can you remember what this is called? A pineapple. Yes. Well done. There's lots of fruit to make. I wonder what's next. I'd like to use that green cutter right behind me. Look! Do you know the name of this fruit? This is a watermelon. Hmm, what colors will we use for this? Can you help me? Should we use this red Play-Doh? Yes, thanks for your help. Let's open the tub. Shout out the color. It's red. Where's my rolling pin? I like this part. Next, we'll take the watermelon cutter. This shape is a triangle. It has three sides. Look, there's a smaller triangle. It can go inside the bigger one. I'll push them into the Play-Doh. We don't need this. Shall we take a look? It's not finished. We need more Play-Doh. The outside of the watermelon is green. Let's stretch the Play-Doh. Wow, it looks so cool. What are we gonna do with this green ball? Let's use a rolling pin to flatten it. Great, now the other side. 
I'll use the cutter again. I'll make a strip of green play dough. Let's remove the cutter. Wow, this is just what I wanted. It goes right here. Watermelons have black seeds. Like this. It looks so good. Can you say the name of this fruit? Yes. Watermelon, you did it. Yay! What shall we make next? Hmm. Ooh, it's an apple. It's super crunchy. Let's pick a color for our apple. There's so many choices. Ah, this will do. This will be the perfect color for it. What do you think it is? Yeah, it's red. I like squishing it. It's time to make a red apple. We need to roll it out. Then we can use the apple shape. I'll give it a good press. Let's peel away the Play-Doh. I'm so nervous. We need to add a stem and a leaf. What color do you think they are? The leaf is green and the stem is brown. This is making me hungry. It's a crunchy red apple. I think this is my favorite so far. It looks like our yellow friends need some fruit. Yes! Yes! I want to make the next shape. Just look at this orange cutter. It's so bright. Oh, I know what this fruit is. It's an orange. Now we need Play-Doh. Can you guess what color this is? Hmm. Shout out if you know. Of course it's orange. It's the perfect color. I'll use my rolling pin to flatten it. It needs to be the same thickness all over. Now I'll grab my orange cutter. I'll use this section first. This piece will add the detail. It fits right here. Let's get rid of the extra Play-Doh. Now we can look at our fruit. I'll remove the cutter. Whoa, it's better than I imagined. It's an orange slice. Great job. Ready to choose a fruit? Yes, let me take this pink cutter. Wow, this looks interesting. It's a cherry. I'll put the cutter on the table. What colors are cherries? I'll need help with this, friends. Cherries are red. We have two pieces of red Play-Doh. I'll join them together. Yahoo! It's a red ball. It's time for the rolling pin. It's a small flat circle. I'll push the cherry cutter into it. I think this fruit will look amazing. I'll carefully remove the cutter. I don't want to break it. It's two red cherries. Cherries have long stems. So I'll make them using brown Play-Doh. I can stick these to the cherries. But there's one more thing. We need a green leaf. Just like this one. I'll put it right here. Let's show everyone what we've made together. A red cherry. Oh, he looks happy. Hey friends, there's only one cutter left. <laughs> it's a purple one. A bunch of grapes. Oh, what's this? This Play-Doh is purple. I'll squash it. Let's try out the grape cutter. I'll push it all the way in. We don't need all this Play-Doh. I can lift this off. I think the Play-Doh is stuck. I'll give it a push. Wow, it's grapes. Let's remove these two leaves. I have a plan. 
we can make new leaves. I'll use green play dough. I'll flatten it with the rolling pin. Hmm, I need to roll it even more. This is hard work. Then I'll take the grape cutter. I'll use this to make the leaves. That's more like it. Let's put them onto our grapes. This might be my favorite color yet. It's so bright. We made grapes. There's so many. That was our last fruit. I really enjoyed our playtime today. Thanks for your help. And we've learned many yummy fruits. What was your favorite? Shout it out nice and loud. We'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. <laughs>